Hum, hum, hum. Hum, 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 Look, a lot of my friends on YouTube are doing tier lists also, and I've always wanted to do one, so it's my turn, my time to do it, and I thought, what better way to start than doing a tier list of some of the greatest games of all time? We're gonna start with The Simpsons video games. No! We're gonna do Super Mario games, and for the most part, we're gonna do like the platforming, side-scrolling Marios. Yeah, I threw some other ones in there as well, but we're not doing like the Mario Karts and the Mario Parties and the side-off Mario stuff. And even, I'm not gonna lie, not doing the handheld Mario stuff because didn't really play them that much. You all would just be upset because I put most of them down below at the lower end of the tier because I didn't really play them. So we're just gonna jump into it, and we have our list right here of all the Mario games, well, the ones I put on this list. And I'm gonna start with I think my earliest recollection of a Mario game, I don't know, it's hard to know when you're nostalgic about stuff, Mario 2600. Did I like it? Yes, I liked it. Is it the greatest game? No, but I'm gonna put it. I'm going. I'm gonna put it in a C. It's, it's not a bad game by any means. It's not an amazing game, but it's a, it's a good game. I like it, but just compared to the other Mario games, it, things are gonna get dicey real quick. Next up is Super Mario Brothers, debatably the most defining video game in history, the most important. I won't bore you with more nostalgia and trivia that you already all probably know. But as far as going back and playing the game, is it my favorite? No, especially compared to all the other ones. Is it good? Absolutely. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna get so much crap. I'm gonna get so much crap. I'm gonna put it at C, I know. I'm only putting it at C because I know what's coming. Okay, A and S are gonna be pretty much filled probably by the end of this video. So I gotta put it in relations to what else there is. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels is basically Japan's Mario Brothers 2, and for me, it's good as well, but I don't, I don't love it. I'm not there yet in my world of loving Mario games. Starting with the next one, things are gonna get hairy real quick. But for this one again, I'm gonna put it in C. I put it right there, I like it. They say it's difficult. I don't think it's that difficult. I think it's a good game. C, average game. Super Mario Brothers. Two, on the Nintendo Entertainment System. For me, it's God level. It's above A, for sure. In my opinion, it's one of the greatest Mario Brothers games ever made, even debatably one of the best video games ever made. I know, Doki Doki Panic and all that, but it's just such a fun Mario game. I love the style of the graphics. It's not so hard to edge, pixely. You gotta play as all four different characters, four different Mario Brothers universe characters, uh, a lot of different elements, a lot of different warping, a lot of different characters, not normal characters that we even go forward and see that much in Mario Brothers games. So, Super Mario Brothers 2, God level for me, it's an absolute, absolute, absolute S. If there was higher, I'd put it there. Super Mario Brothers 3, this is a, this is a hard one for me to decipher where I wanna put it. For me, I don't regard it as high as many people. I still consider it an A or a B, for sure. This is where I'm gonna struggle, because I, I wanna put it as A, but I know, again, in relating to the games that are coming, I'm probably gonna have to pass it with me personally. I'm gonna put it as B, I know, it's a Mario Brothers list. They're all good games, okay? No matter where I put them, people are gonna be upset, including myself. Seeing me put this in a B category, it's not a B game. In the general spectrum of video games, it's by far an A. But in regards to other Mario's games, I'm gonna put it All right, this is where, this is where I feel like it really starts to get a little, little hectic for me. Super Mario World, I'm putting as an S, also. Mm, as far as platforming goes and graphics, I feel like that's like the staple platformer that every game really has tried to copy in recent history and deservedly so. That's an S. Super Mario with an S, S for Super. It, it's gotta be for me, it's gotta be. It's probably the most go-to Super Nintendo game for me in the world. So yes, yes for the S, yes with S. I know I said I'd throw in some random ones. This is obviously a random one, but I'm putting Mario Paint in here because I have a lot of love for Mario Paint. What a different game. What a weird take, especially to put in a Mario universe. Yeah, I know they're kind of slapping Mario on everything in the world because he's so popular, but it didn't come off that way. It didn't come off as like, you know, Mario is missing or teaching, typing with Mario. It came off as a really well-polished game. So much went into this game. It's such a a uh, game full of depth and even the intro screen and the music and music creations and the art and animation. I feel like this game was light years above its time. And for being a game that you would think 
they're just throwing the Mario name on to sell. Maybe could have been the case, but definitely the game lived up to the Mario name, even though I know there was some weird, iffy, random side Mario stuff. But for sure, Mario Paint, beautiful game. Guy, I love that game. I think I totally forgot to say where I was gonna put that. It's a B for me, it's a B. Really, 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 really fun Mario game. I look at it, I put it above regular Mario Bros, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed in the comments, that's okay. Super Mario All-Stars, it's, it's kind of cheating, but I'm putting it in here because the graphics were drastically changed, at least for the NES games, especially for 1, 2, and 3. Uh, the graphics were completely different. I am not going to put it too high, even though I love it, and it plays amazing, and in my opinion, hmm, I actually like the way Mario 1 plays better than it does on the original NES. So for this list, I'm going to put it, oh boy, where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it as a B. I'm going to put it right there as a B, solid. Great game, but it, it would have been an A because I love everything in it, but because it's, you know, a pack, I'm gonna drop it down one a notch. <laughs> Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Okay, okay, this is a beautifully artistic direction video game. Uh, beautiful music, yes, little baby Mario is a little annoying. Oh boy, um... I like the game, but uh, I, again, I think looking at the other stuff in the list, it's right there at a B. It's not above. Uh, it's a little bit above the original Mario. I wouldn't say, oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to put it at a B. I'm going to put it right at a B. That's, that's where it's going to be long. That's what happens when you're a dad. You got jokes like this, if you call them jokes. Virtual Boy Mario Clash. I'm totally putting this on the list. It's a good game. Uh, I know the Virtual Boy didn't do much for many people at all, but if you give this game a chance, it's a really cool video game. Couldn't hurt your eyes a little bit if you look at it for a while, but I think it's a really well-made game uh, with a lot of the, the 3D aspects of going back and forward to the level, kind of pushing you in and pushing you out. I'm going to put it as a C, though. I'm going to say it is a C game. It's not a D by any chances. I'm going to put it as a C. Fun game, not an amazing game, but a good game. C. Next is another big dog for me, and that's Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. Man, this game is fantastic. I don't know if I can put it, I wanna put it at S, but I don't know if I can because I look at my list and I have Super Mario Bros. 2 and Super Mario World in there, and I feel like I play those for sure drastically more, even though I think the game probably deserves to be in that range. I feel like I don't myself play it as much, so I think that lends me to believe that in my soul, this game is an A instead of an S. Which almost kills me to say, hmm, I like it, but I don't like it. But I'm gonna stick with it. Super Mario 64 is the definitive 3D platforming video game. Um, so many video games, as many things with Mario, people tried to copy this game and mimic it, and so many fell flat. But man, looking at the list, that's always the hard part about these. You want to do it and you want to say something, but then you look at the list and go, where does it belong in there? For me personally, I believe it lands at an A. It lands at an A. Such a good game. Uh, so much nostalgia. Amazing, amazing music. My God, Bomb on Battlefield on that video game is fantastic. Um, I'm going to put it as an A right there with, I feel like I play it just as much as I play Super Mario RPG. So I feel like that's where it belongs. It's an A. A. I don't want to get any hate for this, but I have to say, I used to like the Paper Mario games more, and recently I found myself not enjoying them when I went back to them. I, I hate to say that, because I hate when my nostalgia is possibly more powerful than the game actually is to me, to me personally. So Paper Mario, oh boy, I'm sorry. Back in the day, I, I would have put it in my top 10, to be honest. Played it recently, putting it as a D. It pains me, but compared to these other games, when it comes to Super Mario Sunshine, there's so much debate on this game, whether people hate it or love it or think it's good or think it's bad. I've always thought it's right there, just like right in the middle. Never thought it was one of my favorites. Never disliked it in any way when I was a kid. I definitely never played it and thought, oh, this is subpar to normal Mario games. I just enjoyed it. But I also didn't find myself enjoying it as much as I did Mario 64, the game previous to it. So with that said, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put, mm, I'm gonna get hate for this. I'm gonna put it right there at a C, which is kind of on the level playing field as Super Mario Bros. Yeah, yeah, looking at the list. A C, I'm sorry, senor. <laughs> I hate to do it again, but there it is. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Enjoyed it a good amount back then. Not enjoying it, it's, go, it's going right there with an, an D again. 
I'm sorry, and that personal list, don't forget, personal. Let's just keep going, I'm sorry, a, a D again, I'm sorry. Super Mario Galaxy was another one that felt kind of like Super Mario 64, and what I mean by that is not necessarily the gameplay, even though you might agree with that. Um, just the feeling it gave you playing it when it was your first time playing it back in the day. It felt so freeing, uh, so open, uh, especially being in the galaxy. Um, such an open expression of a video game feeling. So for this one, looking at the list, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on par with an A. It's an A video game, putting it in A. I think there's gonna be some disagreements with me on this one, but I'd say Super Mario Galaxy 2 Although a good game and a wonderful game, I know most people would say two is better than one. I think one is a little bit better than two, so I'm gonna drop it at a B, which is still great, mind you, especially in a sea of wonderful games. So a B for me because I just think it's, I didn't enjoy it as much as Super Mario Galaxy, the first one, probably because I played the first one more. That's kind of what happens when you play video games, you know, what you play first, sometimes you get attached to. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I absolutely love these video games, all of them. So you're gonna see me kind of put them all kind of in the same range. I enjoyed these games so much, I still do. I think they're so, so, so fun to play with friends and family, with anybody being able to control even, most people probably hated this back then, or maybe not. I know people had a weird consensus about motion controls, but I always loved the and they jump and spin and make the characters do that. Man, I love these games. Uh, some people, when they first came out, wrote them off as, oh, this is just another easy way in for platformers and all that easy way in for Mario to shoe in and make some more money. Yeah, it might have been, again, but I absolutely love this game. This game is going right there at an A. New Super Mario Bros. U for the Wii U, repeating the same thing I said last time. I'm throwing that thing right up there as an A. Super Mario 3D World, when it came out, I heard a lot of mixed opinions. And then I started playing the game. And my opinion of the game is I love, love, love this game. This is probably my kids' favorite Mario game, possibly one of their favorite video games of all time, so maybe it's just part of my fatherhood speaking into this, but I adore this game to death. I love the mechanics, I love the fun I had playing it, I love watching my kids play it, watching uh, the story unfold for them and seeing them really fall in love with video games for the first time when they first started playing this. So, Super Mario, 3D World, you're an S. I, I feel kind of weird putting this one on here, Super Mario Maker, because it kind of has a little bit of every game really inside of it. So I'm gonna have to kind of judge it fairly. Although I think it's amazing, I'm gonna put it as a B, and I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do that now for both of them, they're both amazing. But I, I, I can't really put them higher because it's kind of cheating because it has all the games into one and really the game is as good as you make it or as good as the community makes it. So I'm gonna put them both at a B. I'm gonna do that right now. I, I feel so horrible, but that's where Paper Mario Color Splash is gonna go. It's gonna go with the rest of the Paper Mario games. I'm sorry. That, they're all D's, to me. I feel bad, but I don't, I don't know. Super Mario Run for phones. I played it when it first came out, and I have to admit, I was excited to play it. It's Mario, it's kind of pay to play. It was teased as free. I ended up getting pretty upset with it because of reasons at that time. I'm gonna put it as an E. Sorry, it's not that bad. It's just, I don't know, something about it didn't sit right with me about microtransactions at the time and everything, so I don't know. E. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, when it was first announced, I didn't really care about it because I found out it was a real-time strategy game, an RTS game, a strategy game, a turn-based game, which were games that I wasn't too into. And just like Super Mario RPG previously on the Super Nintendo, kind of getting me interested in more turn-based games, this game, when I played it, completely flipped me upside down with the way I feel about these games. Not only did I beat this game, I beat the game! So much so that I ended up getting the DLC for it and beating it again. I absolutely love this game way more than I could ever imagine. I'm putting that as an A. Alright, final game on this list is Super Mario Odyssey. And if I have to really think, Sit back and think about these games. Nostalgia, replayability, the time I enjoyed, the sense of fun I got, uh, gameplay mechanics, all that jazz. 
when I look at it all one by one and really break everything down, I really do think, I'm looking at my ass games right here, I think I can say it's the best Mario game ever created. I think I can say that. I think I can, can sleep tonight saying that. Super Mario Odyssey, I'm gonna put you as the greatest Mario game that I've ever played. So I'm gonna even, I'm gonna bump you a little ahead of Super Mario Bros. 2. I, I can't believe it. But it makes sense. In my head. And there it is. There is my list, my tier list of Mario video games. All the important Mario games in my life and in the world span of me ever playing Mario games. That sentence made absolutely no sense. But that's it, I, there it is. Odyssey is number one, Mario Bros 2 is number two, Super Mario World is number three, and 3D World as number four, and the rest kind of trickle out. All pretty much solid games all around. I am. I'm so sorry, Paper Mario. All right, you know the drill. Unsubscribe. See ya. Wow.